Didn't I tell you? You won't be alone. I will be at your side, watching over you. Yes, I am. Akane Kurashiki. It's... it's you! June! I, I mean, Akane, from... but you're old. Yes, that's correct. I haven't spoken to you in a very long time, Clover. Or you, Junpei. J junpei Akane. Long time no see. When? How long? Do you remember when the two of you saved me in the warehouse? Once you saved me, you went back to your future. Well, your minds did, at least. I carried your bodies to the third AB room, and then took Dio's to the fifth. After that, I went into the first room and borrowed Kay's armor. So by the time you and Clover came out, you'd already... Yes. No, it was me. In this timeline, at least. In this one, I wasn't murdered by Dio. You two saved me. It's just like Schrodinger's cat. Your actions in the future decided who would be inside the armor in the past. Alright, what about the other history? The one where you weren't saved. What happens then? Who's wearing the armor? That's quite simple. The man in front of you. Him? That's correct. Whenever I'm not in the armor, he is. What about the memory loss? For my part, I confess that I lied. He, on the other hand, was telling the truth. Large doses of soporil can cause memory loss. I gave him a rather large dose. So, who is he? You've never seen him before? No. What about the rest of you? I have no idea who he is. I've never seen him before. Me either. Total stranger. Are, are you all right, Mr. Sigma? Did you hit your head or something? Sigma, your consciousness can jump through time. You can inhabit your body in the past or in the future. Don't you get it? You've jumped to the future. From 45 years ago.
It's your face, Dr. Sigma Klein. Although, to the you that's behind it now, it's your face forty-five years from now. Zero, the mastermind of the AB project, is you. No, it's the truth. Fighting it isn't going to do you any good. Please, Doctor. You will be a pioneer in the field of genetic engineering. No, I'm not. You created him. Well, I suppose I should say you are going to create him. His name is Kyle Klein, your clone. That is why he looks just like a younger version of yourself. Twenty-three years ago, in the bio lab here in Rhizome Nine, you created Kyle. Well, I suppose for you, that's still in the future. When I said I was born and raised here, I was still pretending to be him. The gravity here is only one sixth of Earth's. If nothing was done, the reduced gravity would cause his bones to be weaker than normal human ones. But you prepared for that. You gave him that armor. Ever since he was born, he's lived inside of it. It kept his muscles and bones strong. He wasn't forced into it for the nonary game. He's been wearing it every day all his life. <laughs> He was to be your spare. If something happened to you before the project began, he would take your place. I mentioned before that the A B projects A and B stood for after and before. That isn't all they mean, though. The A also means anima, and the B means body. Anima is another word for the soul or the consciousness. Body is well, exactly what it says on the tin. The past consciousness will go into the future body, and the future consciousness will go into the past body. They switch. That was the chief goal of the project. Sigma, do you remember the note you found in the garden? You mean this, right? Yes. Ah, of course, it was you who investigated the garden in this timeline. Yeah, Sigma, take a good look at this. It's an illustration of the time jumps your consciousness is making. A is where everything began. December twenty fifth, two thousand twenty eight. You inhaled the white smoke in your car and lost consciousness. From there, you jumped to B. January twenty fifth, two thousand seventy four. You woke up in one of the A B rooms in Rhizome Nine. You are in your own body, but it is sixty seven years old. 
Your consciousness has jumped 45 years into the future. I believe that may explain why you didn't notice the reduced lunar gravity. The body you woke up in was much older. Normally, you would have noticed that your muscles were much weaker. In this case, however, the lower gravity balanced that out. Moving on. If you continue along this line, what happens next? You reach C, which is January 27, 2074. That is today. Whoa. Wait, what do you mean? Are you saying it's been two days since we woke up? 36 hours to be exact. Have you already forgotten? You are all infected with radical sex. The virus slowed your brain down. So yes, 36 hours of real time have passed. But to you, it only seemed like 14 hours and 40 minutes. Now comes the important part. After this, your consciousness will return to the past. It will re-emerge at point D. April 13th, 2029. You will return to your younger body. But that's the same day as the reactor explosions. Yes. That is why I said it will be too late. You will return to the past, but the events you would want to prevent will have already happened. The story does not end there, however. The line continues. After reaching point D, you will eventually return to B. But this time, you won't be jumping through time, or at least not at a rate faster than normal. Your consciousness will spend 45 years inhabiting the same body, until you reach point B. Do you remember when B is, Sigma? <laughs> Correct. That was when the consciousness of the 22-year-old Sigma jumped into the body of 67-year-old Sigma. So where did the older version of you go when you took his body? <laughs> Yes. His consciousness will go back in time 45 years. For a period of time, he will inhabit your younger body. While your younger consciousness is elsewhere, he will be you in the past. <laughs> That's correct. When that happens, the older version of you will be ejected from your younger body and return to your body at sea. Rotating. I suppose you could put it that way. But look at this illustration closely. What if you take all these lines and untangle them? You get one single line. It may look complicated, but in truth, it's a single straight path. With one exception. Exactly. 
Point E is December 31st, 2028, the day of the total eclipse. Yes, by now you've likely figured it out on your own. The purpose of the AB project was to get the consciousness of the 67-year-old Sigma from point B to point A. If we can do that, we can change what happened 45 years ago. Yes, that is why this line could not be interrupted. In order for the 67-year-old version of you to reach point B, we first have to go through point D. In order to get to point D, we must jump from point C. And for point C to happen, we had to recreate everything that happened in this facility. That is why we have faithfully retraced history up to this point so that we might save humankind from destruction and undo the horrors of the last 45 years. What is that? Yes, that's right. Very soon. Yes. We need potential energy stored to send your consciousness into the fourth dimension. Fortunately, we now have plenty of that. Thanks, ironically, to Radical Six. All that remains is to launch your consciousness. Like a bullet from a slingshot. Didn't I tell you? A crisis. A moment balanced between life and death. That can jumpstart your brain. You haven't figured it out. I mean this.